What's up guys, my name is Gladio and today in this video I am going to be teaching you guys on how to get infinite coins on Skyblock. Yes guys, this is not clickbait. This video will teach you about a glitch that I found on how to get infinite coins on Skyblock. This glitch is really really simple, that's the best part about it. The only thing you really need is 500 coins. Um, I've created a new profile for this demonstration. I've done it in other profiles. It works. All you need is 500 coins. If you created a new profile and you've never played Skyblock before, to get 500 coins, all you need is just to farm some wheat. Just get your farming levels up, and you'll have 500 coins. I'm sh I'm sure you all guys probably have 500 coins. Anyway, so this glitch is um a glitch that. You're gonna have to follow my character's step, like like every step of my character for. Well, not every step, but you're just gonna have to follow like my in-game character. Um, so how this glitch works is that is passive is a um, ma manual. So after you do the glitch, um, and you just log off, it will just you'll just keep on conti continuously making money. That's the, like an another really good part about it. So after you do this glitch, it'll take like five to ten minutes to activate, and then You'll just start making money in in your purse. It's crazy. Um, I've tried this before. It's honestly just crazy. The rate is it's kind of like a farm with the rates. You'll if you do this glitch correctly, you'll make about one point three to one point five million coins per hour. That is around thirty one to thirty six million coins per day or twenty four hours. Um, so yeah, if Again, these are like, um, not exact, but that's around what you get. It's honestly just absurd. Um, so say if you were to do this glitch, lo like, like not log in for a day, you'll probably get around 31 to 30 to 36 million um, doing this. So yeah, without further ado, I know I've rambled on for a while. Let's just, let's just cut, let's just cut straight to the chase. So guys, now it is time for the glitch. I'm just going to cut straight to the chase. You should be obviously ready to follow my character's um, almost exact movements, step by step. Um, before I start, obviously you should be having 500 coins in your purse, ready to go. Doesn't have to be exactly 500, as long as it's at least 500, there can be more, it's fine. Um, any, anywho, we're going um, you're, to start the glitch, you're going to want to be on this um, carpet right here, the middle one, facing um, opposites from NPC Jack. So you see, there's like all, the, all these carpets here, like which one? But the one um, in the middle, um, so out of these three, the one in the middle, opposite from NPC Jack, okay? So now um, I've started the glitch. So now what you're going to want to do is untoggle your sprint key and jump for one, two, three, four, five. Now the important step is there to untoggle sprint, obviously, and just move forward and jump five till you get to this wall here. Um, toggle sprint again, or just be ready to sprint, I guess, if you don't have a toggle sprint key. Now um, sprint and jump all the way over here to the bazaar. Look at it for one, two, three. Go back till you get to the lumber merchant. Now you're going to want to buy five of these um, oak wood, as in five by five. So one, two, three, four, five, until you have 25 in your inventory. Now um, sprint over towards here. I'm pretty sure right is where the builder is. Oh, the builder over here. So you're going to want to go to the builder. But once you get to the stairs here, you're going to want to um, untoggle your sprint. So, like, not yet. Okay, right here. Wait, no, it's fine. It, that shouldn't matter too much. Just as long as you untoggle sprint here. There. That's what you need to do. Crouch when you get to this um, plank here. So, on the stairs, just walk up. Just crouch all the way around here. Do not touch the red carpet, guys. If you guys touch the red carpet, the glitch will fail. I punched it, I didn't touch it, like, as in, with your feet to touch it, you know, like, like, move on to it. So go all the way around here, now from the builder, 
you're going to want to buy 20 red sand. Almost, yeah, 20. Um, oh yeah, by the way, guys, um, I forgot to say this. If you, like, are, like, just made a new cop, or, um, you just haven't talked to the NPCs, before you buy stuff from them, you're going to have to talk to them first. And, wh and when I say talk to them, just, um, click them a few times to, like, say stuff to you, as I'm sure you'll know, until you can actually buy stuff from them. I just forgot to mention that. Anyway, um, go into Rocks and Bricks, buy the, your 20 red sand, then go into Green Thumb, and buy... 2 orange tulip and 10 flower pot. Once you've done that guys, you're going to want to um, stop interacting with the builder, crouch all the way out, make sure not to touch or move on to the red carpet, just walk out and then sprint. Toggle sprint, you're going to want to go back to the bazaar. Now, you may be thinking that this glitch is pretty bizarre, right? Well, just carry on following my movements and trust me, it will work. So, now, to the bazaar, you're going to want to sell your inventory and sell. And that's everything you can sell, because you can't sell these, okay? So, you're going to want to sell your inventory. Um, and yes. Now, you're going to want to crouch out here, jump down... Crouch until you get to this gold block right here. Now, once you get to the gold block, you sprint all the way past the farm merchant, past Jacob, all the way to the fish merchant. Now, you're going to want to buy three clownfish. Now, Later you'll find out why you need three clownfish. You'll, you'll later find out. Um, now go to the... Um, never mind, don't go there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. T to the um, plumber Joe. Um, now you're going to want to buy the plumber sponge. And then sprint out over here. Um, sprint, jump over here. And you're going to want to go back to the bazaar. And interact with the bazaar and sell your inventory, which will be your three clownfish. And then, yes, now you're going to want to sprint back here, go left, and then um, you're going to want to um, go to the weaponsmith. And you know what? You're going to want to buy an undead sword. Turn back. Um, turn to your left. Till you get to this thing here. Now, once you're at this um, place here, go to the farm. Um, around. Till this windmill here. Now, in this windmill, you're going to want to face this log here. Face the log for one, two, three, turn 180, crouch twice, go over here. Um, by the way, I'm in a private lobby. It doesn't matter what lobby you're in. I'm not sure if I've, if I've mentioned this before, but well, it doesn't matter what lobby you're in, just any lobby. Um, around here, face this iron, look up, zoom, you have to have Optifine Zoom for this to work. I forgot to tell you that as well. Um, go around. Punch the TNT. At least 10 times. That's already 10 already. Um, now you're going to want to... Go over here. Past these flowers. If you lost my carriages, rewind the video. And find it again. You should be fine though. Interact with the Auction Master. Until you're like able to, you know, auction stuff, yeah. And then go to the lumber merchant, interact with it, buy um birchwood, j just one. Go around, sell that birchwood to the bazaar. 
Nice. Now, you're going to want to go around, right? Don't, don't worry, guys. The challenge, it is, um, the glitch, it is almost over. Um, past the carpenter, down towards here. Now, very, very important. Listen up. Once you're down this little staircase here with the carpenter, crouch, walk all the way to this tripwire hook. Now, once you've got into this tripwire hook, you cannot touch the red carpet, guys, by the way. I went past the grey carpet, but if you touch any red carpet, that will screw you over. So, break it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. You're going to want to go back to the starting area. Um, right here by the portal hub. Um, right here, you're going to want to go right on this block here. Left of the hub selector. Right. Crouch walk, by the way, guys. And go up here. This is the very, very end part of the glitch. Press this button. One, two, three, four, five times. I think that was five. Extra time, just in case. Jump up here. And do a 360. Yes, guys. You've ended the glitch. This glitch will take around five minutes to activate from once you've done the glitch. And in around five to ten minutes, you should start making money. So, guys, it has been about seven and a half minutes. And the glitch has just activated. I've got my first check right here of 50k. So that's very, very nice. I've gone 50k within seven and a half minutes. It's activated. And yeah, you should just start getting money up. I think around like 50k a minute. I'm not sure exactly. But you should start getting money. And you can just log off. Come back uh, however many times later. And you'll get the amount that the glitch produces. So as I said, you can like log off for like a whole day. Come back, you'll have about 30 million. And yes, this is truly amazing. And I will catch you guys in about an hour. Once I've gotten around 1.4 million. So guys, one hour later and I am back. One hour later, I have made 1,413,000 coins. That is crazy guys. As I said, the glitch will make around 1.3 to 1.5 million per hour. And I've made 1.41 million in an hour. So yeah, just like the whole time I was gone. I was completely logged off. I was like logged off. So um yeah, this should just work. Just log off, come back and you'll just get have money. That's so simple. So guys, I am back. Um 2 hours later, 3 hours that the glitch has been active and I've gotten 4.3 million, which is around oh well, it's definitely over 1.4 million per hour. And yeah, that's it, I guess. Y your rate should be around 1.3 to 1.5 million coins an hour, as I've said before, if you've done this right. And I hope this helped you out. Um, I guess, yeah, I, um, there's nothing else for me to say, so I guess just I'll try to help you guys out if it didn't work in the comment section below. Anyway, um, bye. Alright guys, can I just say this glitch, it was completely fake, there is no glitch for making money. Um, this was made as a joke, um, it is not to be taken seriously, and I'm pretty sure everyone already knew that, but if it's actually someone watching it at this point into the video, um, and you've actually done it, can I just say, firstly, you're stupid, secondly, I'm sorry, and thirdly, I'm sure there's like not many people who've actually done it. Or like they just realized it was fake. It was it's, it was obvious, okay? Hypixel staff, if there's any watch if there is anyone watching this video, don't um do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. I just made a joke, okay? I'm not promoting any unfair advantages. Okay? Can I just say that? If you searched up, don't search up again, okay? It's it's, it's not gonna work, okay? Just don't try to make money off glitches. It is not fair to everyone else. So I do not promote anyone um, doing this type of behavior. So, if you fell for this, just make a lesson learned. Don't do it again. Don't search it up. This is not fun. And yeah, this, this video was made as a joke. Just, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm sorry.
I know this video is gonna get dislikes, I'm aware. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Alright, bye.